First Rose is a school that is right up the road from Thomas Shewing that um, educates students with special needs. Uh, this project was a culminating activity at the end of our students, sixth graders, reading the book Wonder. Um, and we partnered with Forest Rose students, sent them a letter asking them some questions, and they sent us a letter back um, telling, answering our questions. And then um, we and then in turn wrote to those students telling them a little bit about us. Each student wrote a letter. And then together in group, students worked to create a poster to um, represent their individual student um, using their creativity and the information that they gathered from the, what they learned about the student. Before I met him, I thought, you know, we're doing something for someone who's in need, like, you know, that can't really do a lot of stuff, and this will, you know, cheer him up. But then after I got to meet him, I realized that he can do almost everything a normal kid can. He can play sports and stuff like that. We feel that it's a life lesson. Um, we feel that the teachers felt that it was important because in everyday life, they are going to meet up with somebody who has disabilities that they have to overcome. Um, in some of their own classes, they have students not with severe disabilities, but enough that there needs to be develop a, a level of tolerance, a level of understanding, um, a level of fairness that it's not everybody gets the same thing, but it is that everybody gets what they need, which is a phrase that Mrs. Blaze, the director, had said, and I thought that was so um, influential and for our students to understand. I think it'll help me and a bunch of other kids when we get older to um, help those kids, like, you know, not just see them and turn away really fast. You know, I think they de or learned empathy through our book Wonder um, as much as they could reading. To experience someone who has a disability that affects their lives every day, um, you know, at the end we gave each student a standing ovation because of the fact that in our book Wonder, Augie says, um, who is the student with disability, says that everybody deserves a standing ovation at some point in time in their life. And we talked to the kids about how, you know, just for these students at Forest Rose to get up and to go to school and to do the things that they do every day deserves a standing ovation.